Hey, 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 it's me, Meatbag McMurka, Pirate Party candidate for governor in Utah, and today I want to talk about Proposition 2. Proposition 2 in Utah is the uh, medical marijuana initiative. That's what it's uh, better known as. Uh, so here's, here's the deal. I, I actually looked it up uh, to find out more about what's going on with Proposition 2, and I looked at Ballotpedia.org, which I think is the uh, is is a good a good site for learning about what it's what it's uh, what it's all gisting towards. So Proposition Two, according to this website, says it was designed to legalize medical marijuana for for individuals with qualifying conditions. Uh, individuals could receive a medical marijuana card with a recommendation from a physician, and under the measure, a medical marijuana card holder could not smoke marijuana or use a device to facilitate the smoking of marijuana. During any one 14-day period, an individual would be allowed to buy either two ounces of unprocessed marijuana or an amount of marijuana product with no more than 10 grams of tetrahydrocannabinol, THC, or cannabidiol. After January 1st, 2021, individuals with medical cards would be allowed to grow six marijuana plants for personal use within their homes if there are no dispensaries within 100 miles. So this is a, uh, 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 like, oh my god, like, so you're going to allow people to buy, to buy cannabis, but not, um, allow them to smoke it? Uh, <laughs> so that would still be illegal, even in their own homes? I don't know. Okay, so, compromised legislation. Um, so negotiations between Utah legislators and Proposition 2 supporters, including the Utah Patients Coalition and the Libertas Institute, and opponents, including Drug Safe Utah and the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, uh, there was a negotiation that resulted in, a, in an agreement on potential compromise legislation on October 3rd, 2018. So this happened just a few days ago. This agreement concerns legislative alterations to Proposition 2 to be addressed by the legislature after the November election if the measure is approved. Uh, Utah Governor Gary Herbert, Republican, called for a special session of the Utah legislature after the November election to create a medical marijuana policy for Utah regardless of whether or not Proposition 2 is approved by voters. Herbert said, if it, whether it passes or fails, we're going to array, arrive at the same point and conclusion, which is going to be a benefit to the people of Utah. Okay, so what it's saying here is that ultimately the vote on Proposition 2 is, is kind of worthless because whatever happens, whether it passes or fails, they're still going to have this, uh, this um, session of the Utah legislator to, leg, legislature to create a medical marijuana policy for Utah. Uh, and that, and that, whether it passes or fails, the outcome is still going to be the same. Uh, and so, in which case, why even vote on Proposition Two? On top of that, Proposition Two is a little bit the dice. You know, hey, you're going to allow people to buy cannabis, but you're not going to allow them to smoke it or use any devices to facilitate smoking. And uh, you're going to be. <laughs> And you're going to be allowed to, to grow plants for personal use, but only if there's no dispensary within 100 miles. So I guess anybody, uh, when they finally get dispensaries here in the Salt Lake area or the Provo area, I guess, uh, or even just to go to Salt Lake, and then anybody in Salt Lake, Ogden, Provo, uh, any of those, they're not going to be able to grow. Uh, it's only people who are living out in the sticks that are going to be able to grow. So... Uh, you know, I myself, I'm I'm a little bit uh, torn over this proposition. I I did vote yes for it simply because um, I submitted my my early uh, voting registration, and I have no problem telling people how I voted. I did vote yes for it, uh, but you know, the, but but it, it's not perfect. It's not amazing. Uh, I think that uh, having fewer people in prison and jail for possession of cannabis. Uh, particularly people who are, uh, who, are, who are ill and stuff like that and really need it. Um, I don't think that they should be put in prison for or jail for those kinds of things, for owning a product. Uh, I, I personally think that the Proposition 2 is a, it's a, a, a very, very uh, weak proposition. I think that it, it doesn't really do what it is that people think it's going to do. And... Um, I will create a follow-up video talking about the, <clears throat> the the legislative alterations to Proposition Two, 
that are going to be uh, that are going to be addressed by the legislator la legislature after the November elections. Uh, thank you. This has been Meatbag McMurka, Pirate Party candidate for governor in Utah. Like, share, subscribe, ring that little dingly bell thing down at the bottom, and uh, and give me all your money because I am going to be governor of Utah, and when I am governor of Utah, I am going to have it all. Thank you. Bye.